with ambition is to own 10 winning racehorses. Welcome Jeannie Riser. Next we have a sales supervisor who would like to learn to fly a light plane. Say hi to Sandra Murray. Contestant number three is a bank officer who would love to be able to sing. Say hello to Julie Brown. to clap them on. You do, but yeah, that's good. It's it empty taking me off the stage. No, I don't. I'll I you never would. Secret. I never Bye. would. Goodness <laughs> me. Welcome, ladies, to the show. Number one, what would you like to do all the time if you had the chance? Only one thing, gambling. Oh, you're a bit of a gambler. <laughs> on, I certainly am. On what? Anything you want to put in front of me. Oh, really? <laughs> Odd start tonight, three to one, you never know. Good luck. Number, number two, what would you like to do all the time if you had the chance? I'd really like to learn how to fly a small plane, which is crazy because I'm frightened of heights. Mm, yeah, well, <laughs> maybe some heights. You're, you're fronting your phobias, you see. It's good. <laughs> That's right. It's powering. <laughs> and number three, what would you like to do all the time if you had the chance? Uh, spend money, travel, and just party, party, party. Oh, party, party, party. You're going to have one tonight, ladies. Welcome to the show. Give them a hand, please. <clears throat> Okay, Max, tell us about their man. Okay, then, Cam, Alex Tingle and Airline Stewart like to be some keeping fit. Please welcome David Hicks. <laughs> David, what an interest. Oh, oh, yes. How are you coming? I'm very well, and well, you're obviously a dancer. Well, what do I do with these? You keep the whole, you're a dancer, David, no, keep I'm the dancer, dance. yes. How long have you done that for? Oh, about two and a half years now. And you're not Australian, are you? I'm not Australian, no, I come from London. Right. England. All right, well, welcome to the show. Thank Have you very much. Nice to see you. Of course, a bit high. <laughs> David, do you know how to play perfect match? You just watch the game. So first question goes to contestant number one. Right. Well, personally, I'm no superstar, but contestant number one, imagine that all men are horses. Now, how would you go about saddling one up? Well, Cameron, he'd definitely have to have lovely long legs and a firm hind quarter. And a firm hind... Well, most horses do, don't they? Really? Well, not all. Not all? Okay. I'm not into horses myself, but they look like they do. Number two, imagine men were horses. What sort would you like to saddle up? A dark horse, because I like a man of mystery. Oh, yeah. Okay. And how about you, number three? What sort of horse would you like to saddle up? One that needs a good rub down after a long, hard ride. <laughs> David, <laughs> great oh. legs, a dark horse or a rub down? <coughs> well, I'm afraid it's got to be number three. Number three, <laughs> the rub down. I, uh, David, next question to number two. <laughs> Are you lonesome tonight? No, no, seriously. If you were to put an ad in the Lonely Hearts column, what would you say? Refined ladies seek unrefined gentlemen to learn new tricks. Oh, you'd like that uncut sort of man who needs Definitely. a bit of... Definitely. Okay, pounding into shape. Mm. Number three, if you, were put, if you put an ad in the Lonely Hearts column, what would you say? Lonely Heart needs stimulation. Apply within. Apply within. Okay, and what would your ad read, number one? Oh, definitely help. Help? <laughs> help? David? Well, <clears throat> I've been in this country very long, but I still need stimulating. I think number three again there. Number three wins the next match. <laughs> Righto, Dave, final question to that lady number three. Oh, now this question's an insane one. Um, how would you convince a hot psychiatrist that you weren't crazy? I'd lay him on the lounge and <coughs> read his mind. And you'd read his mind? That's a good, a good idea. Contestant number one, how would you convince a hot psychiatrist that you weren't crazy? Let's forget the crazy and talk about the hot. Oh, 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 number one, look out. And contestant number two, how would you convince that hot psychiatrist that you weren't crazy? Well, if you really thought I was out to lunch, why didn't you ask me? That's clever. David? Well, I don't think anybody who eats on the job is uh, all that bad, so I say number two there. Number two, out to lunch, or come on, let's go. <laughs> David, the bell's gone. You've matched twice with number three. Once with number two, here's your ten seconds. Good luck. Well, it's a very difficult decision to make, but uh, I 
think number three. Yeah. Number three. Here's one today. He's gone with the odds. Number one. Come on down, number one. Love swimming and bike riding. This is Jeannie Ryber. Oh. <laughs> Contestant number two enjoys reading, dancing and going to the movies. Sandra Murray. Okay, now number three has made her way down there. Come on down, David. <laughs> Are you ready for this? This lady is a bank officer whose hobbies include netball, squash, and going to the beach. David Peck, please paint Julie Brown. Oh, yeah. My word, a bit of a tap on the bottom for you two. Wait, listen to this. You're off to the Gold Coast for the weekend. Yes, David and Julie.